Good morning. It is Tuesday. We're doing some abs and arms today. I'll give you all a few minutes to get on here. I'm right on time this morning, 7.30 on the dot. Hey, Ashley, look at you, first one here. Haley Lucas made it. Hi, Haley. Haley, are you asleep in bed or are you actually on your yoga mat? I wanna see a photo of you, Haley, after you're done with your workout so I know that you actually did it. Haley's my little sister, by the way, you guys. Jerry, good morning, Bettina and Rena. Okay, you guys, so lots of abs and arms today. Um, I will warn you, I pulled my, my left hip flexor a little bit doing some sprints up a hill, but I'm still gonna do the workout and I'm gonna modify some moves and I'll give you guys options to take the levels up or down and modify with me. Good, Haley, I'm glad you're gonna send me a photo after. <laughs> Amber, good morning. Let's go ahead and get started. Child's pose on the floor. Sorry, not a child's pose. Let's start with the tabletop pose. Inhale, arch your back. And exhale, round your spine. Nice and simple. Warming up your back. Warming up your core. I know some of you just woke up, right, Haley Lucas? Some of you guys just woke up. I'm gonna move this closer. You're still doing that cat cow for another five. Another four. In three, two, and one. Take your child's pose from here. Knees out, walk your hands forward. Reach your hips back and hold it here for about 10 seconds. Reaching your arms as long forward as they'll go. This is not the best angle, I know. And then we're gonna slowly walk the hands to the right side. Reach left hand over right hand. Stretch out your left lap, your left side body. And then breathe, sit back into that left hip. And slowly walk it over to the other side. Right hand crosses over left, sit back into that right hip. Happy belated birthday, Amber. If you guys are also Gemini's, comment. Gemini's sisters. Amber just had a birthday. It looked like so much fun, Amber. I'm glad you got to take that time to yourself and take some time off from your workouts. All right, you guys, from here, we're gonna go ahead and take it into our shoulder reaches. So take your right hand up, reach under and across, landing on your right shoulder, opening up your thoracic spine, coming back to center. Reach up with the left hand, all the way under, thread the needle, landing on your left shoulder. Notice what that feels like in your back. So that should feel pretty good of a stretch between your shoulder blades, a little bit along your mid-back area. And if you're tight in some spot, pay attention to that and try to breathe into that tightness. I know for me, I feel more tightness on my right shoulder. You're here for five more seconds. Good morning, Nora, good to have you back. Terry, always good to see you. You guys are here for three, for two, and one, find your high plank hold, high plank, hips in line with shoulders, hands right beneath the chest. You're gonna inhale, exhale, find your down dog stretch, pedal out those heels for me, bending one knee and then the other, slowly rocking into those heels. And then from here, we're gonna do our plank cobras. So come to your plank, drop your chest to the floor, Inhale, upward facing dog or cobra stretch. And then exhale, tuck your toes under, find your down dog. So that's your pattern. One plank, nice and strong. One low push up, one up dog, one down dog. You're here for 10. While I fix my camera stand so that my camera doesn't fall flat on its face again. Can't be breaking my camera screen every week. <laughs> All right, you guys, you're here for five. Down dog cobra stretch for four, three, two, and hold your down dog in one. Hold it, take your right foot up to the sky. Bend your right knee, open up your hip and hold it. Nice and easy, just hold here for five, for four, for three, for two, and one, take a big hip circle with that right knee, opening up that right knee, big circles for three, two, and switch directions, big circle, opening up that hip before we get into some core work today, for three, 
for two, one, take your right foot, step it all the way forward, outside your right pinky, inhale, lift the chest, and then exhale, kick it back into a down dog. Inhale, reach your right foot forward, chest up, hold for a second, and then exhale, bring it back into that down dog kick. So this is an active full body stretch. We're opening up the right hip here, and we're getting our heart rate up a little bit for five, a little bit faster for four, three, two, one. Hold your right foot forward, give you that dragon lunge push up. Bend your elbows, take it down into that hip, press up into the palms. You're here for five, for four, for three, for two, and one. Hold it. Right hand comes off the floor. Reach it behind your back. You've got that single arm, single leg push up for eight, for seven. Working in that left hand for six, for five. We're simply holding that stretch for four, three, two, and one. Both hands down. Step your right foot back. Haley, let's do your favorite move. Give me an inch for right here. Walk your hands in and slowly walk your hands out. One up dog at the bottom. Lift the hips. Walk it in. Walk it out. Drop the hips. We're going to take it into that down dog on the other side in five, four, three, two, one. Bettina, hold your plank. Find your down dog, take your left leg up, bend your left knee, and hold it. Sylvia, I want you to feel that stretch in your left hip here. Just hold, reach back into the shoulders, press into those palms. Give me a nice big knee circle, Rita. Big circle up and open up those hips, up and around for two. Last one, and switch. Amber knows how to do these. We used to do them all the time at DTLA Fitness. One of our favorite warm-up moves for the full body. And now we're going to take that left foot all the way forward. Lunge and hold. Lift the chest. Inhale. Exhale. Kick it back. Find that down dog. Kick back. Step it all the way forward. Lift the chest. Drop the back knee. And then exhale. Kick back. Inhale. Lift up. You're here for five more. Kick back, lift up for four more. Kristen's on. Kristen's looking for some relief from her work day. <laughs> Kristen, I thought you were working. Last two and one more. Lift and hold it right here. Give me those push-ups. Down and up. For all of my Sutton Flow students, we used to do this a lot at Hot Yoga, Hot Pilates. If you guys didn't know that, I used to teach Hot Pilates. That was tough, two hours teaching in 100 degrees. That was not fun. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't. All right, last two, and hold it up. Take your left hand behind your back, bend and press. Hey, Amy, Amy knows what I'm talking about. She met me in set and flow. Press into that right palm, bend, lift. Rita, you got five. Press four, press three, press two, one, Hands down, feet back, hold your plank. You got up downs in five. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist. In three, two, one. Here we go, up and down. Take it left elbow down, right elbow down. Left elbow down, right elbow down. For eight, for seven. Come on, Bettina, come on, Ashley. Last five, Rita. Easy work for four, for three, two, one, and on your knees, hip circles, shake it off, whatever you need to do, moving child's pose. We're going to get started with that workout. Okay, so for today's workout, we're focusing on arms first, abs second, and then for the very end, I want you guys to grab a magazine or a slider. I've actually got a fitness magazine, which makes it so much better. So grab something slippery for a rug, or if you're on wood floors, even a towel will work, all right? But that's for the very end. So if you don't have a slider, you can bounce early. No worries. 
All right, Amy, let's go ahead and get started here. We're gonna start with the push-up series. We're not gonna repeat anything today. We're just gonna go one move right to the next for about a minute each move. I'm gonna get my timer going here on my Fitbit today. All right, so we're gonna start with regular push-ups, but at an inchworm. So you're gonna go one push-up, walk your hands in, walk your hands out, push-up. If you need the modification, you know what to do. Go down on your knees. In three, two, and one. All right, Nora, Bettina, let's go. Walk those hands in, one inchworm, one push-up. Come on, Haley. This one's for you. Get those little inchworms. Stretch out the back of your legs. Drop your chest to the floor. All right, you get to pick the pace. If you feel it more going slowly, then go slow. If you want to get a little more cardio and you want to run those hands in and out, be my guest. It's your workout, your pace. I'm going to shut this door because there's construction going on. If you guys didn't notice, there's a house being built across the street from me. Keep going. You're halfway there. You got, actually, you're more than halfway. You got 10 seconds to go. Last nine, Amber, get low with that push up. In five, little rest. In four, three, two, last push up. And rest, 10 seconds. All right, move number two is another type of push up. We're gonna go one push up, one Superman. So you're gonna go all the way down to the floor. Reach your hands out long, lift up, hands by the rib cage, press up. All right, in three, two, one. Here we go, down to the floor, arms long, lift into that Superman, elbows bend, hands right by your side body, press up. The challenging move, this is a challenging move because the push-up is starting at the floor and for a lot of us, that inch right at the bottom of the push-up is the most impossible part. So this move is really gonna help you get better at your push-ups because it's forcing you to start from the bottom. All right, nice and slow. Lift up, really squeeze the back side of the body. Press. I feel like I'm back in hot yoga right now. I'm so sweaty. My living room is, the AC has been off all night. <laughs> But it's gonna be nice out today. So after this workout, I'll go step outside into that cold weather. Keep going, you guys have 10 seconds. You got eight, Chelsea, seven, Nicole, good morning. Five, four, three, two, push up right here, one more. Down, lift up, supermans, and hold. Amy, Rena, I know you guys like these ones. Lift up, squeeze the back side of the body. Reach your hands out long in front of you and kick your toes out long behind you. Now, Ashley, try to imagine you're growing and lengthening at the same time. That you're gonna feel a lot in your backside. You hold this here for 10. Good, Nora, reach and hold for eight, seven, really reach and hold for six, five, four, three, two, and pedal it out. Swimmers, right here, 30 seconds. Little faster. Little smaller, little tiny sways. Left and right, 10 seconds down, 20 seconds to go. And then we got two more push-ups and we're done with push-ups. All right, so get excited. Last 10 seconds, lift up, push. Nine, eight, seven, faster, six, five, four, three, two, and one, recover. All right, you guys, 10 seconds to rest. Next push-up is my personal favorite. It's that archer push-up. So if you're new to this one, on your knees is okay. If you wanna try it on your toes, that's what I'm gonna go for today. Your hands are wide. You're gonna press into one side of the body, come up back to center, and press into the other side of the body. So we're working on that single arm strength. Here we go. Down, up, press back to center. If you need to modify, you are on your toes. I'm sorry, if you need to modify, you are on your knees. Now, to make this push-up a little bit easier, to transfer the weight from left to right, you're gonna rotate one palm out. When you come to the left side, rotate your right palm out. When you come to the right side, rotate your left palm out. 
So your hands are making an L shape, all right? Opposite hands is turning out. You're halfway there, last 30 seconds. All right, this is how we build strength for those single arm push-ups, which if you guys saw my post recently, I've gotten so much better at. And these archer push-ups too, so much better because we practice once a week or twice a week on these IG Lives for the past, who knows how long, three months? It's been a while. All right, you guys, last five seconds, four seconds, three, two, and done. Good, rest, recover, turn it around, you got tricep dips. Right here, we call this one a variation of a push-up. You're gonna lift your hips up, bend, and press. If you have a chair or a table, you're welcome to come up against a table. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. I'm doing it on my table edge today because like I said, I sprained my, I didn't sprain anything. I pulled my inner left thigh. So I don't want to put too much pressure on my hips by holding them up. So this table is actually going to help me take pressure out of my left inner groin because <laughs> I pulled this leg. All right, you guys, last 30 seconds. Come on, Rena, you can do it. Bend and press. In 10 seconds, I want us all to hold it and pulse it. In five, four, three, two, hold it. Pulse it, Haley, a little inch. Up, up. Five seconds, four, Carlene, three, two, done. Woo, shake out those arms. Okay, so last push-up move is a tricep push-up on the floor. Hands are close together. You can go on your knees for this one because tricep push-ups are pretty darn hard to do right. All right, here we go. In five, four, three, two, one. Down and up. Full range, down and up. Start slow and get that form nice and tight in the core and relax your shoulders down and away from your ears. And more importantly, try to think about squeezing the side of your body so your back muscles are tight here, which we often forget about. Squeezing the lats, squeezing the abs. All right, you guys, pick it up or take it to your toes. Last 20 seconds, pick it up or maybe take it to those toes in five, in four, three, two, and one. Try it on your toes, last 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, you got this, Bettina. Five, four, three, two, and done. Woo! On your back, we got crunches. Lie down, we got some crunches. You guys are killing it. Sorry the music is like non-existent right now. We got three crunches, three bridges. Hands behind your head, elbows out wide. It's up for three, up for two. One, lie down, hips go. Three, two, one. Just a little crunch. Three, two, one. Hips go up for three, for two, and one. Little crunch for three, for two, and one. Alternating like that. You got 30 seconds. Three crunches. Three bridges. At your own pace. Try to pull your low belly towards the floor, alternating from legs to core. You've got 15. You got it, Amy. Let's go Tuesday. Halfway through this workout already. Up. For three, two, one. Last set. Three, two, one. Alternate crunch. Left and right. Try not to rest. Reach up. Reach up, right knee, left knee, Woo. inhale, exhale, lift, lift. If you want a little bit of a challenge, lift your knees 90 degrees, reach for the outside of your knee here, outside of the right knee, outside of the left, for 10, legs go straight up, in eight, you got it Ashley, six, Five, four, three, two, and lift up, reach, right, left, 
right, left. Woo, really get those shoulders off the ground. Last 10, last nine, both sides for eight, for seven, for six, come on Rita. Five, four, three, two, and one. Lie down, give me those double leg lifts and lower. Hands are right beneath your hips. Toes point on the way up. Heels flex on the way down. If you want to make this harder, lift your head and shoulders off the floor. Woo! Squeeze your low back into the ground. You guys are halfway there. Trying to get my timer to work here. Slowly take three seconds to lift. Take three seconds to lower. Let's go for 10 more seconds right here. Last nine, last eight, seven, six, you're killing it, five, four, three, two, one, recover. Take a deep breath in, arms long, legs long. Come up, tap the left toe. Come down, tap the right toe. Inhale, reach. Exhale, lift, knee tuck. You guys got one minute on the clock. You're already 10 seconds down. Reach, touch. Reach, touch. One time through with each of these moves. So let's make them good. Let's make them count. No lazy reps or it's not worth your time. You give it your all, every single rep. If you need to modify, I'm gonna grab my knee at the top to release the pressure on my hips. You guys are killing it. Last 10 seconds. Last nine. Eight, Sylvia, come on, Katrina. Come on, I know you're there. Five, four, three, two, and recover. 10 seconds. We're gonna flip it over into our bear plank. All right, real quick, let's get right to it. In three, two, one. Hands beneath the chest. Hips hover right above the knees. We're looking like a little bear, a little tabletop position. From here, tap the knees down, lift the hips up. Tap, lift, tap, lift, down, up, down, up, 10, nine. Really put the pressure in your hips, take the weight out of your palms, shoulders back. You've got four, weight in the hips, three, Two, hold it up, tap your left knee, tap your right knee, one hand comes off the floor, tap reach, you've got 10, tap reach, you've got eight, we're going to combo it up, two taps, and then one knee tap to the floor, two hand taps, one knee tap to the floor, in three, in two, add one, here we go, tap your knee, tap your knee, tap the floor, Lift, left knee, right knee, down, up, left knee, right knee, down, up. Woo. You're only one inch off the ground. Last 10, last eight, last six, five, four, three, two, one. Little stretch, 10 seconds. We're gonna come into our high plank. Right here, you're gonna go one knee tuck on the left, knee tuck on the right, reach for that left toe, reach for that right toe, all right? In three, two, one, here we go. Right knee, left knee, toe tap, toe tap, mountain climber left, right, pipe the hips, reach for that left toe, reach for that right toe. Halfway there, 30 seconds to go. Down and up. Let's see it, you guys. Push. I want you to pick up that pace a little bit. It's hard for me to talk from that position. You got 15 seconds. Come on, Ashley. Come on, Rita. Come on, Kenya. Last five, four, three, two, and one recover. All right, you guys. We're gonna end it with that because I wanna get to the slider portion because I know we're almost, almost good for time. I was gonna do some side planks, but I wanna to get to that slider portion. So if you have some sliders, 
Go ahead, join me for these last couple moves. Maybe find a magazine. Hey, Allison Lucas. Maybe find some sort of a rug or, I mean, a towel to slide on. I'll show you the moves. We're gonna start with a single leg knee tuck. Right knee comes in, out, and lift up. We did this one last Tuesday with Lizzie, and I love this move, so I want to do it again. All right, comment if you're down with me to stay for those sliders. <laughs> We're gonna start on the right side, three moves, and then repeat on the left side, three moves, all right? Here we go. Starting in that high plank position, Okay, good. Rena's ready. Bettina's ready. Haley's ready. Perfect. Find your sliders. Right foot on the slider. High plank position. Right knee to the chest. Right knee kick under. Here we go. In and across. Out. In and across. We're going to do this side for 45 seconds. All right. We're only doing it one time through for this amount of time. So let's make it good. 15 seconds down, 30 seconds to go. Need a chest. Kick under. This Fitbit is low on battery. <laughs> let's hope it makes it through. Crunch reach. Let's go for another 10 reps. 10. Pick it up. Nine. Pick it up. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four, three, two, and on your elbows, take a quick break. You slayed it, come on down for that low plank. We're gonna go Spider-Man style plank. On your elbows and toes, reach your right knee to your right elbow, up and around. So we're making a semi-circle. You're gonna squeeze your right knee towards your right tricep. Push it back, slide it up, push it back. All right, 10 seconds down, just about 30 seconds to go. Crunch, release. Shoulders back and away from the ears. Weight goes in the moving toe. Whew. Find that right oblique, right side, Haley. Right side, Rena. Give me 10, nine, give me eight, seven on your back, in five. In four, in three, two, and one. Woo. Lie down on your back. Reach out with the legs, reach long with the arms. We're gonna go one full sit up, star twist. All the way down, one full sit up, star twist. In three, two, one, here we go. Down, up reach. All the way back, all the way up. So this one, I tend to slide a little bit. If you're sliding on your mat, you're welcome to grab something between your heels, something heavy to hold you in place. Really breathe, this is your finisher. All right, push it, 20 seconds. Exhale, lift. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, you got it, Haley. Strong abs, strong abs, two more. Come on, Amy, one more. Woo, done. All right, you guys, from the top, this time we're gonna take that left star plank. Find your high plank position. Not a lot of rest time here. And then take your left foot on your magazine or on your slider. Find your high plank. We're gonna go in five, four, Three, two, one, here we go. Knee to chest, kick out, reach up. Knee to chest, kick out, reach up. Now this side is my sensitive side, so I'm gonna go nice and slow. Modification if you need it. You don't have to lift up your right hand. Just the knee to chest, kick under and across. 30 seconds to go, one time through. Yes, you can. No doubts, just confidence, just assuredness that you're gonna make it. That's how we finish. 
We know we're strong. We showed up. We made it this far. Amy, I want 10 of your best reps right here. Nine. Pick it up. Eight. Pick it up. Seven. Six. Yes, you can, Rena. Five more. Four more. Ashley, three more. Two. And one. Whew. Come down to your elbows. In five, four, three, two, one. Spider plank, left side. Knee to tricep and slide it back. Crunch with that left oblique. Press back with that left oblique. So all the weight is in that moving toe, pressing into the ground. Big circle. Down and back. Big circle. You guys are keeping those shoulders relaxed. Core tight. Oh my God, it's burning. We're gonna make it. If you can do it, I'll do it with you. And if I can do it, you gotta do it with me. All right, 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, uh, and one. Woo! Okay, guys, on your back. Last one. Here we go. Legs long. Maybe grab onto something heavy. Because I'm sliding around. I'm going to grab onto a weight. Come all the way down. Reach up for that tippy toe. Reach for that tippy toe. You got three, two, one. 50 seconds. Woo! Now I want you to think about whatever it is you had set out for today's goal. Whatever it is that you have to accomplish, I want you to think, if you can do this minute of sit-ups and not break and not rest, you can do whatever else you had put on your to-do list today. All right, this is where we find that strength. It's not about physical strength here. It's about mental strength. Anybody can do 30 seconds if they push themselves. All right, you got 20 seconds to finish it strong. Come on, Haley, let's go. Woo, Rena, Bettina, Ashley, Amy, Jerry. Last 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. All right, you guys, we did it. Recover, rest, breathe. Not so bad, right? Not so bad. How do we do with time? Oh, we got, we got like time. Let's do, let's do a minute burnout. How about? Because it's only 8:03. I thought it was later. Burn 60. Welcome, Hilme. I'm feeling a little more cardio now that I'm warm. Hey, Hilme. Hey, my neighbor's on here. Hey, Luis. Let's go ahead and do one minute of burpees together. All right. I know Kenya's not with us. But in honor of Kenya, we'll do one minute of burpees. Ashley, you can tell her for me. 10 seconds, nine seconds. We got one minute, burpees, however you like them. In five, four, three, two, one. Let's go, you guys, let's go right here. Up, down, no better way than to finish off with a quick burner, knowing it's the last thing you're gonna do for this body weight workout. It might be the only time you get to move your body today, so make it count. Down and up. Push, 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 push. 20 seconds down. Easy work. Let's see how many we can get in 30 seconds. I challenge you to 10 more. 10. Whew. Nine, I almost slid on my magazine cover. <laughs> Eight. Seven, six, five, four. Yes, you can. Come on. Three, two, ah! and one. That was exactly one minute. <sighs> okay, now we're good to go. Stretch it out. Stretch it out, you guys. If you can stay, maybe just give me a forward fold. 
side lunges, dropping into that left side, sliding across, dropping into that right side. Ashley, you did so good. You're so welcome, Matina. I'll see you at self tomorrow. I forgot to mention, self is opening up. So if you guys are in the South Bay area, I'm gonna be leading a hit class at Self Fitness South Bay. If you wanna make it, you can just sign up on their website. Whew, let's take a seat here on the floor. Do that hamstring stretch, inhale, reach. Exhale, reach for that toe. Whichever foot forward is okay. We'll switch sides shortly. Go ahead, reach one hand up towards the sky, stretching out the side body. Exhale, reach for that right side. I can't read that comment, so I'm gonna come a little closer. I want you guys to stay in that stretch. Oh, Nora, you're welcome, Nora. Will I be seeing you tomorrow? I hope so. I think she said she's coming. And switch legs. Left leg forward. Nora, I hope you're feeling better. Nora told me that she fell off of the treadmill. So if you guys are going back to the gym and you haven't been on a treadmill for a while, be careful. Don't get overexcited like Nora did. <laughs> Just kidding, Nora. You are usually, you're very fast and you're an avid walker slash runner. So not making fun of you at all. I'm sorry you fell off the tread. <laughs> and then slowly reach for that left toe, opening up your right side body. I mean, I pulled my groin running up a hill, so I guess that makes it equal. I hurt myself too on a treadmill. All right, and slowly come back up to center. Let's take it on the knees. One big inhale, Amy, reach your hands up to the sky. Exhale, two more breaths. Inhale, exhale, one more big breath to start your day. Hands to heart center. You guys are the best. I love you all so much. Um, I love doing these IG lives, so I'm gonna continue doing them for as long as I can. Um, we'll see how things go with group, group fitness and gyms right now, but right now my schedule is Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, 7.30 on IG Live, and Friday at 7.30 I'm gonna try a Zoom class. And it's all donation based, so if you wanna support, you can Venmo me. I will put my Venmo on my story. It's laura-lucas-7. You're so welcome, Rena. You're so welcome, everybody. Noble, good to see you. Jerry, you're welcome. So if you guys wanna do that Zoom class, DM me and I will send you the link. All right, have a beautiful Tuesday. I will see you all on Thursday or in person tomorrow itself. Wow, goodbye.